So we have a very regular looking HTML file here with us and I'm importing a JavaScript file. Let's just go ahead and make use of ES6 import export module functionality and import another file called module.js which is present in the same directory and it's safe. So once you do that, we pretty much don't get anything. So what we could do is uh, pretty much go ahead and export a couple of functions like export function uh, hello and then console log hello. And now we could just go ahead and call this function by saying k dot hello. Hit save. You're going to see that we get hello. Now what happens if we export a function named then itself? So you see that if we go ahead and export a function called then and we make this function an async function, then pretty much we could see that we could do anything, right? we could do anything just after the module loads. So you see that we get this particular anything and then we are not actually be able to call this then function. Now, why does this happen? This is a very hacky way. And why this happens is because when you import something, it actually returns you a promise. So if you go ahead and see this, what we're gonna see is K is actually a promise, right? And promises, call the then function when they are resolved right so once this k is resolved it the javascript internally calls the then function but since we do not have any then associated or even if we do have any then associated it finds the then function being exported right here inside the module itself so it's gonna call this uh, modules then and then it's going to pretty much resolve that particular promise right so that is why you do not get this uh, this call right here console.log this never happens right and you actually get anything here so you could think of this as the initializer for your function if you want it inside your module itself although this is a bad practice and it, you know doesn't really convey a lot of meaning but this is a hacky way of knowing that yes uh, this module was included right that's that so maybe if you want a javascript file to not be imported at all for whatever reasons you could pretty much just you know throw new error here that should not be imported right for whatever reasons i don't know so once you do that, you could see that you can never ever use this particular module because whenever you try to do that, you're going to obviously um, call this then function here and it's going to throw up. So that was a nice little hack with JavaScript. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon and I'll see you then in some other one.